Let's go. If you let people tell you you can't do things and you believe in that, hey, cut that out, man, for real. Cut this up. What's going on, folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. Back with some more of this Titanfall gameplay on the Xbox One. Still rocking out on Attrition. You guys know I'm a Team Deathmatch guy, and Attrition must be Swahili for Team Deathmatch. So that's where you can find me. Every once in a while, I miss with some domination, but you know, that really ain't my cup of tea. Y'all know how I feel about that. But check this out. I'm running with the homie LaParis, and on this particular map, I don't know what was happening. It's like people was quitting, or maybe it started the match without a full lobby. I don't know, but... At any rate, it set up a situation for us to get a few more kills than you normally would. So, you know me, I like killing people, man. It works out for me. Not for real, y'all. Don't try to kill nobody. Let's get into it. So, your boy caught a death right there. Two or three guys in a room. I saw an opportunity to kill mad people. So, you know, I kind of turned my back to the opposition on that one. This guy has no idea I'm standing here. And I'm trying to get better with playing vertically. I saw the comments on the last video. You guys were saying, hey. You gotta stop approaching this game like it's Call of Duty, man. You gotta get up on the buildings. Y'all right, y'all right. I don't know, I'm, I'm just a card guy. And I'm a still, you're gonna definitely be able to look at my gameplay and tell I'm a card player. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. This game is very card-ish, if you know what I mean. Ugh. Karate kick to the chest. So, the one thing that I am noticing is, I like the smaller maps. I know that because we got Titans out here, a lot of people prefer the bigger maps. Um, and, and I can get it. You know, I understand what y'all say. And if you get a small map, you get a few Titans on it. It definitely gets chaotic. And maybe people get some easier kills than they, than they would. Also, check your boy playing with the satchel charges. Uh, whatever you call them. C4s, whatever. I'm having a ball with them. But I still like the smaller maps. And I tend to prefer the maps with not many buildings. Because you know how y'all get. You put buildings out there, you guys feel like that's where you gotta be. I'm old school. I want to come out and fight. Let's have a shootout. Let's see who aiming skills is better. Of course, mine probably won't be better, but I got that SMG. I shoot from the hip if need be. I get y'all. So, I got a new weapon here on my Titan. I don't know the name of it. Don't ask me, but I know that I electrocute people and I just disintegrate their ass. They'll disappear. I love it. You're going to notice me using this gun a lot. Um, I went and looked at my stats after one of these matches and I saw that I already got more Titan kills with this weapon than any of the other ones and I just unlocked it. So clearly, uh, they do a great job of giving you the better weapons later. I don't know how everybody feels about that. Some people might feel like you want to start with some pretty good weapons because you're not that good. But I like a game that rewards you for putting the time in. So it seems like the better weapons and the better attachments definitely are going to require you to put some time in. And I, I like that. I'm all right with that. I'm putting my time in. You guys better come out here and play, man. Because by the time y'all get this game and get on, I'm going to be a beast by then. I'm still learning. I don't even know the maps. Uh, also, I still got this thing about shooting at teammates. I never have played hardcore for that one reason. Like when people just walk up on me unexpectedly, I shoot them. I mean, that's just what I know to do. I blast on people. I shoot first, ask questions last. So luckily, there's no friendly fire in attrition or I would be the worst teammate ever. So I'm still definitely finding my way. When I get more time in this game, when I really know what I'm doing, when I know what the weapons are, when I know the maps, I'm gonna bring you guys a report card on this. You guys know my theory on that. I know some people are already putting out reviews on this game, but let's face it, the game's been out for a week. Could you truly give an in-depth review in a week? You know, I don't know. Some people probably can't. I can't. I want to give you the ins and the outs. I want to really know what I'm talking about when I bring you the report card. So give me some time. Look at me shooting the teammates. He came out of nowhere. I wasn't ready for that. You need to alert me that you're going to walk up on me, man. Don't just, I don't play that. But yeah, folks, the report card would definitely be coming soon. Let me get, you know, let me let me really find out what's going on out here. So far, I'm loving it, though. I've been hearing some mixed reactions. Some people like it. Some people saying they like it, but they don't know if it's got that replay value. But I'm loving it. I, I really am. Every chance I get, if I'm not on Ultimate Team, I'm on Titanfall. So that works for me. I will admit one thing, though. The, the game, I see some room for improvement. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. This is the first version of this game is the first game put out by uh, respawn entertainment and even though they're responsible for putting out some of the best call of duties to date you gotta expect these guys to learn some of this stuff on the way they got like on the job training out here 
the beta i don't know if they was actually taking feedback from the beta um i still would like to see the bots replaced with more people i would love to see 12 versus 12 instead of six versus six with six bots or however many bots hell i don't know uh, i would like to see it be all people I, I really would like to see that uh you guys know how i feel about the titans i get it you, you get attrition points and that's how you get the titans but some of these attrition points are a little too easy to get uh, me and my son was just talking about the bots they mad easy to kill like they could i don't know they just very very easy to kill I don't really like that. I, I want to see that toughened up a little bit. I don't know if the aim there was to try to cater to all different skill types. And if that's the case, then I guess they did a hell of a job. But for me, the bots just make, the, the whole bot thing is just a little too easy. I, I'm playing rounds and guys getting like 30 bot kills. I mean, come on, come on, man. Put some people out here. Give me, give me more people to shoot at. But folks, this video is drawing to an end this weapon here it's my titan weapon i use it on people titans uh small animals whatever anything that walk by you getting it that's that's just how i roll and you're gonna notice at the end of this video i get a little too thirsty i'm gonna die right here watch this see i had got tunnel vision i saw that titan he had his back turned i had the stem i was trying to get me a rodeo kill right there on the titan i got too thirsty that's typical me though you notice that late in my videos i play some games where i don't even die until at the end because i'm trying to get that last little bit of handful of kills or whatnot i just get too thirsty i gotta start working on that as well um if i'm not mistaken this video ends without me having any titan kills another thing i want to mention maybe let's get some assist on titans because damn i'm putting mad grenades in these titans and somebody else is giving that one lethal bullet that takes them down and they get the credit for it so that's something that the guys should hear let's share that with the makers of this game can we get assist on titan kills because i know i'm putting work in on these titans yo i mean i don't get a titan kill this match and i know damn well i'm putting some work in i'm putting dents in the armor out here uh, i'm not completely reckless though watch this i kept wanting to rodeo this guy right i see a an enemy i kill him then i get ready to rodeo i see a minion or whatnot i stop and kill him and then when i'm ready to rodeo he's facing me so i don't want to get that last minute death for a kill that's not necessary the game is already over so uh we're gonna finish this one right here in the safety of this house a building or whatever the hell it is but that's all i got for this one folks hope you guys enjoyed it double digit pilot kills for me and the homie la paris i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out to them peace